Okay, and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a HTML source code reader in Visual Basic 2008 or 2010. So first off, we're just going to open uh, Visual Basic real quick. Make sure to um, check out TaylorSoft or er, yeah TaylorSoft.weebly.com. Even though the URL says TaylorSoft, it's actually the Rubik's website because it used to be TaylorSoft, and I didn't feel like changing the URL. So um, that has downloads for uh, the programs that I make. I might um, I might start uploading. Uh, the programs that I do in the videos. Alright, so back to this. Start a new project. And I'm just going to call it I'm just going to call mine source code tutorial and then click OK. Um. All right, hang on, it's coming. So we have a form, and what we're going to do, we're going to make it bigger. We're going to add two buttons. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, add a split container. I mean, you can do this many other ways. change the dock of the uh, split container to fill actually no we're gonna change the dock to bottom there we go. and we're gonna put the buttons over here the first button is gonna be go And the second one is going to be called Get Sort. Then we're going to add a regular text box. And then we're going to add a web browser. And then we're going to go to dock and parent container so that it fills up the first uh, panel on the split container. Then we're going to add a rich text box. and then dock and parent container. 
And we're gonna change read only to true. And then we are going to, uh, I guess, start coding. First, we're going to double click the go button. And we're going to say, as soon as it loads. Sorry, I have a slow computer. And we're going to say, web browser one dot navigate. And then in parentheses, we're going to put text box one dot text and that's all for that button and then we are going to say rich text box one dot um clear so there's anything that it was already in there that it would clear whenever you press the button and then it would add the source code then we would put rich text box one dot text to web browser one Dot document text. All right, let's see if this works. We're going to go to www. dot <coughs> com. We're going to click go. Uh, it's good. There we go. And it goes to YouTube, and then if we click get source. It gives us the source code. So it works and you're not allowed to type things in because it's uh, read only. And that should be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.